The next disease we are going to look at is coccidiosis. And this is a very common disease. And most of us, if not all, have encountered it along our poultry farm in journey. Coccidiosis is caused by a parasitic organism that usually attaches itself to a chicken's intestine, causing damages to the intestinal tract and therefore preventing the bird from being able to absorb nutrients that are vital for its survival. How is coccidiosis transmitted? It is transmitted when the birds ingest or eat the coccidia eggs that are found in the en surrounding environment that they live in. So this is an oral root transmission. What are the risk factors that expose the birds to coccidiosis? One of the major or other predisposing factors is a chronic wet environment, overcrowding our birds. When the birds are living in un unsanitary living conditions, the house we have accumulation of feces, urea, and it's damp. When we overstock our birds, birds that are not healthy, if birds are sick always or they are in, living in unhealthy condition, then we they have a weaker immune system and therefore become vulnerable to infections. Also, if we have rodents, vermin that keep attacking the birds where they live, then they are also helping in transmitting the disease. What then are the clinical signs of coccidiosis? Or how do you as a farmer know that your birds or other flock is infected with coccidiosis? One of the first signs you're going to observe is reduced feed and water consumption by the flock. The birds will appear to be less active and will often go off on their own and appear hatched up with ruffled feathers. The birds will also look depressed, pale, loss of condition and stunted growth. And the other key or major sign to observe is the change in their dropping. The appearance of color from being watery, it will have mucus and then reddish or red in color. This actually tells you that you are dealing with coccidiosis as a farmer. How then do you treat coccidiosis? We treat coccidiosis by use of an anticoccidio drug of choice. The best is to make sure that you consult your veterinary doctor or veterinary technician or your agrovet dealer so that they can give you the best option for anticoccidio drug available in your area. It, was, it is also advisable that you treat all the birds or rather the whole flock since others could already be incubating the disease. How then do we prevent coccidiosis from affecting our birds? Prevention is by good hygiene practices that will help keep the disease pressure at its lowest. Wash and disinfect feeders and drinkers always every day. Raise feeders and drinkers to avoid spillage and contamination. Keep litter dry always, especially around the drinkers, and do not allow overflow of the water. Avoid any causes of wet litter at any one time. Control movement of people around the poultry area or house as they can also help in spreading the disease. Secure the poultry house to keep away wild birds and rodents. Do not overcrowd your birds. Keep different age groups separate. If you have young birds, avoid mix mixing them with older birds that have already gained stronger immunity. The other disease we are going to look at is infectious coryza. Infectious coryza is an acute respiratory disease that is caused by a bacteria. One of the most important things to note about the disease is, is that it has a very short incubation period. That is why we are saying it is an acute respiratory disease. And it causes inflammation of the upper respiratory tract. How is the disease transmitted? The introduction of new chicken into an existing established flock is the most common way birds get infected with infectious coryza. New chickens are introduced to a flock are most likely going to be carriers of the disease. It is transmitted to chicken by direct contact, that is bird to bird contact, inhalation of infectious aerosols that are coughed in the air, 
ingestion of feed and water contaminated with feces or discharge from infected birds, contaminated clothing and shared equipment. It is important to note that chickens who recover from infectious coryza often remain carriers and may share the bacteria in their feces during a stressful event. What are the signs that you will observe to know that your flock has been infected by infectious coryza? You will notice facial swelling as you can see on our illustration in the slide. You will also notice nasal discharge that often has a false smell. The birds will sneeze, have swollen wattles, they will tend to shake their head and have a gurgling sound. How then do we prevent and treat infectious coryza? Prevention is the most effective method of control. Providing a warm house that helps in keeping the disease at lower pressures. Quarantine any new birds before adding them to your flock. Infected birds should be separated and treated always. And since it is a bacterial infection, then we are able to use a broad spectrum antibiotic that has sulfur in it to be able to contain the disease. Our final advice as we wrap up the course on poultry vaccination is that there are several other diseases in poultry and only very few common ones have been mentioned in this course. The best way to prevent diseases is through vaccination and biosecurity or cleanliness and hygiene and also making sure that we are introducing birds in the farm in a proper manner and that is by isolating them for a month or so before we mix them with our current flock. Please refer to our biosecurity course to learn more or remind yourself of anything that you would have forgotten. At Ilengo, we encourage, educate, and enable entrepreneurs in the agriculture sector to reach their full potential. We do this by providing online training and extension services to farmers across Africa. Make sure to check out our other online courses, such as the improved chicken rearing and poultry nutrition and feed formulation. We have shared the links to the courses below and you can click on them so that you're able to see more information about the two courses. Thank you. We wish you the best of luck on your poetry journey and we hope you have learned something new. <music>